hello 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 i'm here because i wanted to make a video about the entire teach for america process i'm currently right now going through the process of going through interviews and filling out applications and things of that nature for teach for america and when i came on here i saw that there was a lot of videos about like people's experiences after they've already finished their two years and what they thought about the experience and everything like that but there weren't a lot of videos detailing like the actual interview process and things of that nature and i know that would have been really helpful for me like as a reference as a base going through so like i said before my name is joy daniels i am a senior at florida state university in tallahassee florida i'm graduating next year and so i'm i i'm going through the process now to see secure a job for next year that's what it will be possibly so i just wanted to come on here to kind of talk about the process kind of give my experience i'm going to be creating like these videos as i reach milestones different milestones within the process and hopefully record throughout my years of service if i decide you know to um continue with it so yeah so we can get right into it and let's just start talking <laughs> about Teach for America was because my school was having a, a career fair. Okay, back, a little bit of background. I'm an English major, but I'm also a business major. So because of that, that opened up a lot of options for me. And I find that if I have too many options, then I'm just not productive. So I was really kind of worried and like freaking out about what I was gonna do after school once I graduated because there was just so many options for me um, of things that I could do. So. We had a career fair in the fall, I think it was like September, I want to say, so I was only able to go to one, because um, it was virtual, I was only able to visit one um, job. So that job that I visited was Teach for America. I'd actually just, I was looking through the profiles and the list of the people who were going to be at the career fair, and I just saw Teach for America, and I was like, hmm, I, you know, like, why not? So I met with her and the, my recruiter was like super nice, super engaging. And she was just talking about the program and everything like that. And I, but previously I hadn't, like I'd heard of Teach for America, but I never really knew what it was, what it was about, or like the commitment that it would require and things of that nature. So after talking to her, I was like, you know what? Like it doesn't hurt to try. So she was asking, she was like, so do you think you're gonna apply? And I was like, I mean, I guess why not you know I I literally have no idea what I'm gonna do after school anyway so might as well try so fast forward like a month the next deadline because they have like staggered deadlines so the next deadline was October 15th so I had I would say about a month to fill out the whole applications and the questions and things of that nature and then um, before the deadline so for the application I want to say it was about like there were short answer questions there were I think okay yes there were short answer questions and then there was like you know basic interview questions but before I even was able to turn in the interview there was like the recruiting session and then there was also like an interview in between there to where they kind of helped you to walk you through like what's going to be required in the application and what they're looking for and kind of basically helping asking you questions that would help you then respond in turn to the interview questions so it was very much like helpful in that they were like helping you to prepare your responses for the application through these meetings that you had in between so i turned in the application and i was like all right and like i'm not really gonna think about it too much you know i'm just gonna keep living or whatever and so then after the application i would say about two weeks after the application then came the process of the decision to let you know whether you were selected for an interview or not so i was selected for an interview and at this time i'm like okay like it is starting to getting a little real <laughs> whoa what is that commitment i see <laughs> weird so I was like, okay, let me just go through the process. But the interview is like a lot more work that and thought that you had that you have to put into it 
The interview consists of um, like a regular interview questions like your leadership skills or um, tell me about a time that you did this or why you were worked well in a group. It consists of that portion as well. But it also consists of you creating a study plan, a five minute study plan. Um, I'm sorry, a five minute lesson plan for as if you were an actual teacher. Now, for Teach for America, they know not that not all of their applicants are education ma majors or anything like that, because I'm not. But they're, so they're not looking for the lesson to be perfect, but they're just looking to see that you're putting an effort, that you're finding resources that could be used um, to implement into a lesson plan. So you have to create a five minute lesson plan and you also have to create a proposal for a case study that they provide you. And so the case study can be anything like that's relevant to issues that are going on in American schools as of now. And then you just have to come up with a solution that you can propose to them as if you were talking to the school board or if you're talking to teachers who are concerned, I mean, parents who are concerned or anything of that nature. So that's so you have to do the case study, you have to do the lesson plan, and then you have to prepare for like actual interview questions. And then also within the interview, you get to ask questions to the interviewee or interviewer about their experience in Teach for America and things of that nature as well. So the interview is like 90 minutes long. So in the process of preparing for this interview, I was first of all, I was already in school. So I was trying to keep up with school. Um, it was around midterm season. So there was a lot of stuff to do. But then I was like, oh, now I have to create this lesson plan and now I have to read this case study and prepare a proposal and then I still have to prepare like regular interview for uh, responses and stuff like that so it was definitely like huh, do I really want this what am I gonna like it was definitely something that was like okay I need to really consider what I want here so I ended up going through with the interview and the interview went really well um, I met someone who was super nice she was super helpful and after the interview I was like okay all right you know like there's pressure off but then after the interview I was getting really nervous was like really really nervous because I was like I like I felt like the interview went really well and so I was like okay do I really want this like is this really what I want to so, do as this time in between the interview and like um the next steps for the program and funny out if I got the job it was a lot of turmoil like a lot of oh my god like what if i get this job and i don't want it like what am i gonna do and so i was talking a lot to different people just like ah oh, what should i do like this is so frustrating and everything like that and these feelings lasted for a while and so in the midst of this i had to choose my preferences for a grade level choose my preferences for where i wanted to go teach for america i believe they have 52 or 54 regions um that they're operating in in america so there's a lot of uh, what's the word there's a lot of flexibility for you to be able to go any place that you want to go or whatever so i compiled my list you compile a list of 10 places that you want to go ranging from most preferred to least preferred and they usually try to place you in any of the ones that you have most preferred and so I was going through like researching the different cost of living and the different things of that nature like um cost of living the wage that or the salary that teachers make the certification cost I was going through comparing and contrasting all of those and then I compiled my list and even as I compiled my list I'm like oh, oh like oh this is all this is getting real and I think the main thing for me was that I graduate next year so I graduate in April but I'm making these decisions in November so it was very much weird for me because I was like this is this is such a long-term decision I'm not even graduated yet and I'm already solidifying decisions for my next steps in life so that was really really like nerve-wracking for me so I, I made the decision I submitted all of it after things. I submitted it there was nothing to do but just wait so I was waiting 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 and then they said in the portal that the decision day was going to come two weeks after your interview but it didn't like so I the day came and I was like where's my decision and then they're like no it's actually gonna come on December 6th so apparently 
it was two weeks after the final interview had like concluded and then they were going to release the decisions for everyone on the same day so december 6th came and i told i didn't tell anyone that decisions were coming that day because oh i, I just couldn't so this, the day comes and i'm actually talking to my friend and then uh, i get a call or i get a text and it's like are you free to call in about five minutes i'm like oh yeah okay i'm free so I get a call and it was from my recruiter and she and she's just like, I just want to be the first to let you know that you did get accepted. I had gotten my top choice of where I wanted to live. I had gotten the top choice and I had gotten the um, my top choice in school placement as in as far as um, like grade level. So I wanted elementary school and so I got elementary school. And so like everything that I wanted I'd gotten, but I was still like apprehensive I don't know so we had two weeks to make the decision to whether we wanted to accept and so I it was it was finals week that week so I was like um, you know what I'm not gonna think about it I'm just gonna wait until I finish finals because I had like two final project no I had a final project a final paper and two final exams that week so I was like you know what? I'm just gonna focus on school on getting done finishing strong and then next week i'll deal with this so that was already one week that i was losing out um on thinking about the decision and everything like that and we had two weeks so I was like i'm not gonna think about this because there's too much going on my friend was graduating like it was just too much going on i was like i'm not gonna think about this i'm just gonna wait till next semester i mean till next week and as i'm trying to go through my exam people from everywhere are contacting me they're like oh we're so excited that you were a part of this like people from the organization they're like oh we're so excited that you are a part of this you got an offer what is your decision what is your decision I, like when i told you they were like oh so what do you think you're gonna do what is your decision da, 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 da. i was like ah, please please and i was like i'm just trying to focus on my exams this week i'm just gonna focus on my exams so finally everything passes um my friend graduates it, the semester ends i finish my exams and it's the next week and so now i'm like okay i have to hunk hunker down and i have to focus on uh making this decision so i'm doing my research i'm looking into things i'm watching youtube videos about people's experiences i'm like trying to go in i get to call with someone from the region that i've been accepted to and hear about their experience in tfa um and what it was like for them as far as making a difference because the whole mission of teach for america is to like make education accessible to all people no matter if it's in an urban school or if it's in a charter school or a private school making education accessible to everyone in every socioeconomic class so i'm like okay how were you able to make a difference so i'm asking the questions and they're they're giving me the answers and i'm like okay all right like everything that you're saying sounds valid <laughs> it sounds valid so after after that final call i was like okay i need to hunker down and i need to really do this because i believe the decision was due the next day and that the day after i had the call so i was like okay this is it what are you gonna do so i went i because I, I, pr I prayed i was like lord jesus please lead me in the way that i should go because i do not want to make the wrong decision because tfa is a two-year commitment and two years is not long at all but i feel like i'm i'm in this place where i don't want to waste any of my time i don't want to make a wrong decision that could set me back because in the grand scheme of things two years is not long but if you're doing what you need to do you can get a lot done in two years your life can change in two years so i just wanted to make sure that i was on the right trajectory so i'm praying i'm like family help me like i need i need some grace and some help so finally i sit down i'm like i think i'm gonna take the job so i go in and i'm i'm doing what i need to do and there's like a a few forms that you have to fill out before you can actually confirm your acceptance of the offer like they make sure that you know what you're getting into that you know what is expected of you before you can actually hit confirm and at this point i'm not like excited per se but i'm content with my decision i'm like yeah okay this is starting to feel like it's the right decision so after that i accept the position i go through everything i confirm i talk to my recruiter i talk to the people of the um 
the region which I'm accepted in. And I'm excited to reveal that I have accepted a position to teach in elementary school in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yay! So now it's just the process of moving there, of getting all the certifications, of getting registered, of actually applying to a school in that region because even though I got accepted to Teach for America, you still have to go through the process of applying for a school in your region. And Teach for America just aids you and helps you in that. But you have to also take your diagnostic tests. You have to take your tests towards a certification and everything that. So there's still a long road ahead, but I have a separate position. So I'm excited to see where the journey takes us. It's gonna take me literally eight hours away from Florida to North Carolina, so that's gonna be interesting. But I'm hoping to vlog and to make videos about my entire experience of this Teach for America experience. So I'm super excited to get into the classroom to help make a difference and to make this a two years I will not regret. So thank you for tuning in, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment, to ask me any questions that you may have. Please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos thank you so much for watching bye